And another thing that a lot of people say is, but the church has problems. I don't like the people that go to church. They've hurt me. Yes, the church has problems. Every church is going to have problems because people are there and people were not perfect. But God doesn't say, and he didn't say, oh, I'm done with the church. I'm done with the church because these people keep sinning. They, they keep messing up. No, he said, Matthew 16, 18 again, and I tell you, Peter, and on this rock, on this bedrock, on this foundation, I will build my church. Jesus said he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That is God. That is Jesus saying this. Don't resort to sitting at home and watching it online, friends. Don't resort to thinking that you can interpret the Bible alone because that's an impossible mission. God never intended for his word to be interpreted by one person. You need biblical community. Many people in today's society say, I love God. I love Jesus. I just don't feel the need to go to church. I don't like the people that go there. The church is not for me. How do you think God feels about this? Jesus says that the church is his bride. And imagine if you were the bride. Imagine your husband comes home and tells you, hey, uh, my friend said that they don't really like you, that they love me, but they don't really want to hang out with you. So I'm going to go hang out with them. How would you feel? God is saying the church is my bride. If you don't like my bride, then we're not hanging out. We're not going to be seen together. We're not going to be chilling together because the bride and the groom are one. Church and God go hand in hand. Get into the habit to make time and to make it a priority. There are some cases where it's very severe uh, lack of knowledge or foolishness or religiousness that's going on. And I'm going to be doing a prayer video here next on my channel for people who feel like they can't find a church. We're gonna be praying against that, that you do find a church, that you find biblical community. But I want to encourage you, if there are minor problems, if somebody has wronged you in the church, understand that wherever people are, there are going to be problems. Some churches stuck in religiousness, there are some churches whose people, their blinders are on, the veil is on, and therefore there is no fruit being produced. You ask God. You ask God, is that happening in my church? You pray for them, but then you find another one. There is going to be a church somewhere where you can grow, where you're going to feel at home, where you're going to feel accepted. And we just need to make sure that we're going to a church that's speaking the truth, and loving at the same time. To, to have one or the other is just as bad. You can't go to a church that is speaking nothing but truth with no love because God is love. But at the same time, you don't wanna be going to a church that's speaking nothing but love and acceptance and forgetting about the truth because they want people to feel comfortable. So they're like neglecting to talk about controversial subjects you can't have truth without love and you can't have love without truth they go hand in hand if you feel touched by this video let me pray over you in my next video so that god can give you a desire to go to church i know it's hard sometimes but let's make it a habit i love you guys bye god bless